Okay.
えっ of crows around here those aren't crows those are northern ravens the inuit and other native americans worship northern ravens as creator deities some say that ravens have the power to predict death the great poet marlowe wrote about them in the 16th century thus like the sad presaging raven that tolls the sick man's passport in her hollow beak and in the shadow of the silent night doth shake contagion from her sable wings. That's pretty gloomy, Master. <laughs> By the way... What? I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? A <laughs> big lie. That was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Mm. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. 